If you are in a relationship with an emotionally unavailable person, you're going to look back at that relationship and realize you almost created an illusion there because if that person is not really plugged in, and I don't know what label you want to put on them, if we have to label anybody at all, but if we realize they weren't really vested, the amount of time that that relationship lasted had everything to do with your ability to create a life, a relationship, maybe a family around this person that made it seem like it was working on all cylinders when in actuality, it wasn't. So when you look back and you say, oh my gosh, like I was alone most of that relationship, you are going to feel like your life was a lie. You wasted months, years even with this person. You were completely by yourself there, but you were creating a magic within that relationship that made it seem to the outside world like this was all working when it, it wasn't. It wasn't. You were. So if you look at your person and say they were emotionally unavailable, this had nothing to do with you. You could have been the best at everything. You were probably better than most if you were able to keep that going for any length of time. So if you look back and you are really struggling with, oh my gosh, I didn't even see it. You did, but you didn't. You kept at it. You kept at it for a million different reasons. But I don't want you to feel like now, all of a sudden, you should be in hot pursuit to try to chase this person. Now they're going to get it. You're going to explain the pain and the hurt and everything they did. They're never going to hear it. They can't grasp it at the level you do because they're not emotionally available for it. So they don't have the depth. You're going to be talking to air. You're going to be giving the same speeches that you gave for probably years. You're going to think that they're going to go outside of you and somehow become available to the next person. They're not. No, they're not. They're usually pretty empty for a reason. So you almost have to accept the loss here. You have to accept that you came across a person who was emotionally unavailable to you, to everyone. Unfortunately, that's who they are. You just happen to carry it on because you were trying to make a relationship work of family work. You were doing what you were supposed to do. You were trying your best. They weren't all the way plugged in, not because of you, not because of anything you were lacking, but because they didn't necessarily have the capacity to love at that level, to be vulnerable, to give, to really, really bond and connect. But this is going to have you feeling so empty and, and so, oh, you can't go back in time. You cannot go back and change what has already happened. You have to stay in this moment and say, I had the, this, the, the terrible experience of being involved with a person who was emotionally unavailable, but you made memories there. You had a life there. There were plenty of good times. So don't look back and say there was nothing. There was a life. You created that life. You created that life, whether it was for yourselves, it was for the kids you have, what, whatever it is, you created an entire experience there. So were you doing most of the work? Probably. Was that person kind of half in, half out? Probably. But it, it didn't take away from the experiences you had. So don't look back and say it was all a wash. It wasn't all a wash. They just weren't all the way in. Like you wanted them to be like you're capable of being. So you have to lock that up. You have to say, look, I had this unfortunate experience. And, and, and I, I feel terrible that maybe I didn't pull the plug sooner. Maybe I, I should have walked away earlier. It, it doesn't matter. That didn't happen. You went through that entire relationship. You built something. You had memories and experiences and a ton of joy and happiness. You know it was in there. You know it was. So they're not all the way empty. You know, all the way empty. There, there's something that's there. So you had that experience. Now the clock stops for that relationship. The clock has stopped. Now you're just going to push ahead. You're going to push forward. You have the possibility if you want, when you're ready to get into a new relationship, to have something so much deeper, so much connected, so much more connected. Do they? Not necessarily. Probably not. They're probably going to go somewhere where the other person is also emotionally unavailable. That's where they fit best. With someone else who's not deeply vested, really isn't vulnerable, not truly connected and bonded. So I'm not trying to compare what's going to happen between the two relationships here, but I'm just trying to make you open your eyes to the reality of it because you're going to get lost in this fantasy. The next person's going to wake them up. They're going to be everything for the next. No, they're not. 
No, they're not. People are who they are. People can change a little bit here and there, but it's very, very difficult and takes a ton of work. So don't put your eyes on what they're going to do. They're going to float just fine. Let me tell you, they're not going to skip a beat. I'm already going to tell you that. They're not going to skip a beat because it's easy for them to just float somewhere else because the bond really isn't there. Oh, I'm sorry. The bond isn't there. Do they love you to their capacity? Yes. Yes, but is it, is it as deep as your capacity? No. No, so don't feel like there was nothing. They probably tried. They probably loved you with everything they had, but what they had was not the ability that you have. So they're going to float over somewhere else. They're going to start a new relationship. It's going to look great. They're no different than what you know them to be. They're not. They're not. They're going to settle not with someone who is more available, more giving, loving, able to bond and everything. They're going to settle somewhere that's right around their level. So it, it's going to be fine. It's going to be easy breezy for them. But there's not a lot of substance. You can go get substance when you are ready. And, and, and in actuality, being alone is better than being with an emotionally unavailable person because you were doing all the work. Let me tell you, you were more alone than you think you were. I know this is hard truths. This is terrible. But look, that's it. That's done. Done. You had a, a, a poor experience there. Okay. Some of us have crap experiences when it comes to that stuff. Done. D lock it up. It's done. Take away the good that came from it. You might even have children. Take away all the good. You made great times together. You went on trips. You had laughs. You had something there. Just because it wasn't quite as deep as you thought it could have been or should have been, it, it doesn't matter. It was there. You lived a life. You lived, done. Now push forward. Stop looking at them. Stop thinking magic's going to happen and look at you and your possibilities. You have been set free in some way. And I know maybe it's late. You're going to say, but I wasted so much time. No, you didn't. This was your life to create. This was where you were meant to be right here, right now. You're going to do so much better. Even if you're alone, you are going to do so much better. The opportunities are there for you now. You're going to notice right away if someone is there with you, really there with you. They're not going to skim past it. And don't blame yourself for skimming past it. You were building a life thinking maybe this was how it was supposed to be. You're trying to make the relationship work. Please do not get in your head about what it is that you did to keep that relationship going. The better you were at creating a life, the more gifted you were at creating a life without really someone being involved with it, the longer that relationship lasted. That's a credit to you. It's a credit to you in the way that you were that committed. You were that committed. Now take all those beautiful qualities of yourself and either do you for as long as you need to, relax, enjoy your life, go out with friends, spend time with your family, do you for as long as you want to. And then when you're ready to get into the next relationship, your eyes are wide open, wide open. And once you have someone who is available to you, you're not going to know what hit you. You're not going to know what hit you. You're going to be in a completely different relationship. Oh my gosh, the joy, the happiness, the togetherness, the bond, everything is going to be right there for you. You have a chance. This is your restart. This is your chance. Something happened here. What you couldn't do for yourself happened to you and for you. Something came down and said, stop. This is done. We're, we're done here. We've got better for you. So sit in this terrible place. Sit in this heartache. Grieve the loss. Grieve the loss of what you had and the loss of what you didn't actually have. Grieve it all. And then go. Go in the direction of your life. Your life. Stop looking in the rearview mirror. Believe me, there's nothing there behind you to look at. It's the same it's just the same. So you have a possibility here. Your possibilities are endless. Endless. Write a thank you note after to what set you free. It set you free from something you couldn't set yourself free from. Or maybe you did. Maybe you finally said enough. Anyway, look at it. Get the frig going. Your life awaits. Your, your, your full, complete life awaits. Today's it. Lock that up. Forward. Keep going forward.